Uh, hello everybody. I uh, wanted to do some videos outside. It's too nice to be indoors. Storm passed through and cleared the uh, cleared the air up a bit. I uh, want to title this video uh, "The Matrix or The Matrix's Parasitic System." Uh, I, don't know if I, I don't know if I like that, but uh, eh, it'll do. It's, uh, it has to do with a uh, video I watched on Seldom Dreams. The Seldom Dreams channel, Avery did a video a few days ago. Uh, anger and alchemy. Channeling your emotions. And it's very important. And he's, uh, he's channeling wisdom straight into understanding but it's it's coming quickly for him it's coming fast and it's like a pressure behind him pushing he was talking about people's reactions to events circumstances and all the elements involved in people's lives and existence and how they interplay practically i've always described uh, these things like and a machine, a, a energetic construct, the model reality, a machine that uh, takes advantage when it can. He talked about balance, give and take, and the machine, in a sense, it does do this. There is a uh, uh, levy a demand. There is movement and repose. And there is balancing. And he was talking about people's overreaction. And the consequences of that. Now he used the example uh, a few times. A person buys a new car. First day somebody backs into it. A couple of different, couple of different uh, reaction directions a person may have. Some in a varying degree it would be best for a person to have none at all or immediately claim that what was in their hands taken away something better it would be replaced with and there's uh story by uh told by uh uncle jim uncle jim's tarot he tells a story about a nephew of his wanted a dirt bike so they wrapped they wrapped up the presents dirt bike helmet he hid the dirt bike in the bathroom he's probably 14 15 when he comes in but there's your presence his mom she worked you know a lot of took double shifts and two jobs you know and he was expecting a dirt bike but it wasn't there so it sharp pain of disappointment but he got down and opened his other gifts that were there and he found a way to be actually appreciate those he, he did not go down the possible direction of uh, giving into in, in the indulgence into the negative reaction and uh, then they opened up the bathroom and showed them the dirt bike was in the bathroom now the example is the reaction and these can be as, as small as a monopoly game like Avery was describing something valuable being damaged someone being taken out of your life that means a lot to you it's all kinds of things that will occur for those that have an understanding of reincarnation and its uh, significance as part of our reality the more a person integrates that into their understanding 
the less the effects the less the effects of events that occur can reach them they, um, if you've had a hundred thousand ten thousand previous incarnations you can't take this shit too seriously I certainly don't you just take it serious enough to control your folly and to hell with the rest of it and enjoy things simply for the hell of it things occur having no reaction at all or small one it's the best it's the best thing if it's going to be something that would take you in a negative direction back to the parasitic mechanisms of an energetic construct in previous videos I've discussed uh, the mystery of three and one the first flame who I donate you aparte second flame who a vive il parte in third flame who a go vue il parte and um, it's much uh, sim it's very similar to Tolkien's uh, he didn't I don't, I don't know if he was aware of this at the time but he wrote about Eru Iluvatar created the Malar and the Valar well there is a difference between the second flame, Vive, Eel Parte, and the third flame, Go Vue, Eel Parte. I've described it as uh, hot and cold water. Water comes from the same lake, reservoir, through the same pipes. It comes out two different faucets and it's, it's water. But they're not the same. But they are the same. The second flames fractal forms made in the image of the first flame that's where the whole made in the image of the father and all that comes from there is the presence of the ten elements of the soul the ikine inole repulse so that's the elements the energy consciousness and they're blended different ratios for each of the seven chakras seven bands of the energy body for the seven densities of the middle pillar this occurs in the other two pillars but the forms are different this is the form of man the world dream right pillar higher than C, angelic form the Voltia, or then you have the Utizai, the demon. Form. But that's that's a whole other thing. The second flames have something that the matrix construct, energetic machine can mm, siphon, rob, take, benefit. It is a, uh, it's better to rob a, a bank with a lot of money than a bank that just opened its doors and doesn't have very much going on. It's a big difference. And a lot of times the bad things will occur in the, the incarnate lives of second planes. So if they're old souls, the bad things will happen if they're very young, straight out of the gate. Is this matrix construct, this energetic machine it's ruthless it's a machine it's not self-aware it just functions in a sense it's it's made of the emanations of the divine forces so it just simply autonomously operates Avery talked about the give and take balancing this does occur if you have an overreaction well it machine will benefit from that especially from the second plane
he talks about things in a, in a very practical way. I like that. I, uh, I think my mind operates more uh, abstractly or something. I know about the practical pieces. They, they tend to bore me. It's not necessarily a good thing. It's just the way it is. If you get a chance, check out Seldom Dreams. Anger and Alchemy. Telling your emotions. I've been recommending to people to do the flame meditation. I have an app on my phone. Candle. When you first wake up, go into another room, light it, turn it on, whatever. Set it about four feet away, three or four feet away, and just stare at the flame. Just let thoughts that have come, just let them pass on. And uh, in the evening, it's good to do it. First wake up, your mind will be clear the rest of the day. In the evening, it's good for dreaming. It's good for a lot of things. Just like walking barefoot in the grass. Or when you're tourmaline or you're sitting or you're amethyst out. Letting you sit on the ground or sit in the sun. These things are good. Well, 1130, so that's long enough for a video. Just do more videos. If you watched this far, thanks for watching. Namaste.